Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about one of my favorite characters or villains in the DC Universe and that would be Sinestro. I've always been a Green Lantern fan. I've always liked the idea of the Lantern Corps and I always liked the fact that he was a Green Lantern who decided to go a different route, who thought uh, Will wasn't as strong as fear. I mean, everyone of us has to deal with and hopefully overcome fear at one point of our lives. And I just like that character. And I have an older DC uh, direct figure that I, every time I look at it, I just, I really appreciate the way this figure came out. Sometimes they just hit the mark. And I wanted to make this video for some people who probably overlooked it or never thought about buying it because this is a figure that actually looks very, very good in any collection. As far as the articulation goes, it is an older DC direct figure. So the articulation is what it is now, but by far the way the overall look of it makes up for that. So let's get to a review of uh, Sinestro from the Green Lantern series DC Direct. So here's a quick look at the packaging. Like I said, it is an older DC Direct, uh, the Green Lantern series three. I think I originally paid, it's what's it say right there, $16.75. So I think I bought this particular item maybe maybe about four or five years ago. Quick look on the back, it shows you some of the other characters from this series. You have Cyborg Superman, Batman is Green Lantern, and you have Sapphire, Star Sapphire. Um, I don't own any of the other ones from this wave. I don't even think I own any Green Lantern core from this particular wave. Um, I was always a little more fond of the articulation and stuff, but when I saw this Sinestro and the way he looked overall, I definitely had to get it. Now I have taken a quick look on eBay just to do a little research. I see that it's kind of getting up there in price. I've seen anywhere from 70 to 100 bucks. I don't recommend paying that. Uh, I'm sure you could find this either loose, and if that's not your thing, I would wait for conventions or stuff. I'm sure people will pop it off anywhere from 30 to 50. Um, I still think that's pretty high, especially for um, you know the way new figures are coming out as far as articulation goes. But I, like I said, this is a character that I really like. I could see myself, if I didn't own it, paying a little more. Um, but that's definitely up to you guys. So let's take a closer look at Sinestro. So here's a quick look at Sinestro out of package. I think he's very, very cool, like I said. In the stand, he, he's almost eight inches. Without the stand, I put him more about se uh, between seven and seven and a half, just so you can guys get a good idea. Uh, I wanted to show you the box real quick. I do have two. Um, I, I found them uh, loose for like five bucks, so I picked them up. I did switch the base. If you could look in the packaging, a quick closer look. He has a Green Lantern base. I don't know if you guys could get a good look in the back. And then also his um, Yellow Lantern. I, I found one that was a little more to his style as far as glossy and darker. So I just replaced those. You definitely need a stand for this figure. He's top heavy. Um, even this stand doesn't work as good as I'd like but um it's definitely necessary for this figure with regards to the actual look and the sculpt i think this is by far the most superior uh face sculpt especially for sinestro just look at all the detailing and sculpting they did on the purple of his face all the ridges the eyebrows the mean face the teeth uh the hair um everything about this figure i absolutely love when it comes to the sculpting I don't think they, I think they just did a real good job. You know, it stops here. He got some blue shading there, um, back of his head with a line. Even the design of the uniform is actually really, really cool. I like the glossier tone when the yellow, when they use it, it's supposed to a matte finish. Uh, I love that the, the contrast of the purple with his, uh, against the yellow and the black of his uniform. The design, everything about this is classic Sinestro, especially when you get into uh, him and being part of the, or the leader of, creator of the Yellow Lantern Corps. Just the sculpting here, the overall design of the body is pretty cool. I think it fits him. Um, they did a good job on the boots as far as the, I mean, it's a basic job. I mean, there's nothing... Um, significant or great here but i just like the overall look of sinestro the especially the face especially when you pick up that arm get a good shot of his ring i mean that's just classic evil mean all about you know fear i just really like the overall look of his head his uh, body and the uh, presence of evil and fear that he gives off it's just a really classic look by far my favorite sinestro
As far as articulation goes, like I said, it is DC direct, so it's not as great. It says let's do 360, comes down a little bit, up a little, not really much movement there. Uh, his arms come out, but so far, he does have the 360. He does have a 90 degree elbow joint with the wrist swivel, which is really cool. So you could get different stances on that yellow power ring, which I'm, I don't mind. Has no, no ab crunch whatsoever, his legs, Go about that far back, that far forward was just much. They don't come out at all. He has one knee joint, 90 degree, and no foot or uh, ankle articulation whatsoever. So when I do say that you need uh, some sort of stand, I do recommend that he only has one foot peg, which is on his right. So you click it, have him stand, push him back all the way. So, like I said, he also comes with the yellow lantern. Uh, this one is a little different from the packaging. I found it uh, at a convention. It was glossier. I just felt it went with his attire more, the glossier look that he has on the yellow. So, it's the exact same mold, just a different paint job. Not really sure exactly which figure series it comes from, but it's one that I like. I just think it goes better. And I can't remember for the life of me the name of this thing. I know it, it follows him around and protects him. And I'm not sure if it recharges the ring or not. I think it does but this thing is pretty cool and i actually like this shape better on another uh version of sinestro it looked more like a, a dildo on lake so i'm kind of glad that that's a little different but overall uh like i said this is a very very cool figure especially for uh for the time with dc correct when it came to the sculpt and i really think this holds up even now Overall, I definitely have to recommend this figure. Even with the lack of articulation, I think it holds up today uh, with all the figures that are coming out with the superior articulation. Uh, I really like the overall style they gave Sinestro here. I have to recommend it if you don't own it. Uh, like I said, it is a little pricier now, but with time and luck, like anything, you could always find uh, the what you're looking for for the right price. As always, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please hit the like button and leave your comments below. And for everything Comics Remix related and Remix reviews, please visit us at www.comicsremix.com. And we will see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.